Today, we're going to talk about composite application services and how they can be used to connect to remote data services. To do that, we first need to know a little bit about what these services are and what they might be used for. Then I'll give a specific example of how to embed a remote data service into one. And finally, we'll get to see some in action. Because they have no UI components, you might think of them as an invisible tile, but actually they are much, much more. Originally, they started as a means to reduce the number of remote data service connections made by tiles, basically to allow any number of tiles to share a single remote connection. But actually, they can serve as a central focal point for access to any external resource. They can be a focal point for common data manipulation, thus cutting down on intertile communications, messages and watchers, or because we cannot control the load sequence of SWIFTs, they can be a central point for the initial data used by tiles, whether that initial data is derived from data in the service itself or stored remotely on the server. And last, they're absolutely great for simulating services that are not even ready yet. So let's build the flex libraries that make up our service. In this situation, we're going to create our service implementation library first. So we'll come here and make a new flex library project. And we're going to name it use case 2 product service. We will click next. And we're going to set to merge into code and click finish. Now we need to enable this project for experience services. So you open the properties, go to Adobe, experience services, enable the services, and we want to enable the application framework services also. We don't need any UX components. So we'll click apply, accept these defaults. Now we're going to come up and select our composite application framework properties. And we're going to use project settings and select a catalog I've already created for this called Use Case 2 Catalog. And click OK. Next, we need to create a new data model for this service. So we click New, Data Model. We're going to call it Product Model. Click Next. In this case, we're going to use a starting point with LCDS. Click Next. Select our server, which is the experience server. Log in if we have to. And you notice that all the services are available up on this server are listed right here. In this case, we're going to use product service. And click Finish. Now in the data model perspective, we can examine our product service. We can see that it already has a set of interfaces defined, and we can see the type of data that's going to be returned. Since we already know that this is going to be a composite application service, it's going to be running on the client. So now we need to adjust our code generation to accommodate that. So we come to the properties, click Code Gen, scroll down to the preferences. We need to verify that action script generation, the model driven form, and the gesture generator are set to client component framework. We apply that, click OK. For our purposes, we don't need to actually deploy this model. We just need the code that gets generated from it to access the data service that already exists on the server. So to do this, we just simply click the code generation button, and it's generated. Since this is going to be a composite application service, we need a product interface library. So let's just set that up. Go to Flash Perspective, New, Flex Library Project, and we're going to call it Use Case 2, Product interface library and we'll just finish it. We will also need to enable this for experience services also. We'll do that next. So let's right click the project properties, select Adobe experience services, enable that, click apply, take the defaults, come up and again we're going to select our predefined catalog for this project. Now this is where it gets really interesting. If you look at the code that was generated from our data model, you'll notice that it already has some APIs in them. Let's just use those. 
So what we're going to do is go up to our interface library and create two new packages. One's called services. Another's called value objects. And we're going to drag our APIs up into those packages. We have to remember to include the sub packages. That's one. There's the other. Now we have APIs in an interface library. We have two things left to do. One is to add the annotations to our interface library and our product service. And next is to adjust the properties for the product service to reference the interface library. So let's get started on that. Open up the product service. Add the expose annotation. Save that. And for our product service library, we first need to add a project reference to the interface library. So we do that through the properties. Build path. Add a project reference to the interface library. And then we can add the annotations. Now we open our product service implementation. Add an import statement. and our annotation. And we can save that. We also have to remember to add the implements clause. My product service. Basically, we're all done. We've taken a remote data service on the server and embedded it into a composite application service. All we have to do now is see it in use. For the sake of time, I already have a composite application tile ready to use this service. Here we have our consume annotation and the dependency injected public variable. We know from the product model what the interface was in the data structures, so we were able to use that interface when we acquire the service and to set up our data grid. So let's see it working. As we open our application in the browser, we can see that the data grid is immediately populated with content from the remote data service. Since this is a composite tile, we can make as many instances of this tile as we like. They all share the same remote service. And finally, we have an application with multiple tiles accessing two remote data services, each on a separate server. Product service on this URL, sent to service on another URL and one tile which accesses both services at the same time. And we can replicate these tiles as many times as we like. They keep working because they're sharing the same remote data service connections. Thank you.